Hello, welcome to Prajim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 16, Methods in C-Sharp. In this session, we will be talking about the basic structure of a method in C-Sharp and the difference between static and instance methods. Now, the first question is why methods? Why do we need to use methods? Methods are actually very useful because they allow you to define your logic once and use it at many places. Because of this, they make the maintenance of your application much easier. And methods are also called as functions. These terms are used interchangeably. If you look at a method signature, it has got several pieces in that. It has attributes, access modifiers, written type, method name, parameters, and method body. We will discuss about attributes and access modifiers in detail in a later session. Written type, the method can have any valid written type. It could be any data type in C-sharp. Okay, if you don't want your method to return anything, then it can be void. Method name can be any valid name except the reserved keywords in C-sharp. Parameters, you can pass parameters to your method. If you don't want, you know, pass parameters, they're again optional. And obviously, the body contains any valid C-sharp statements. Let's look at an example. Now, all this while, you know, we have been writing all of our code in the, within the main method. Okay, but it's also possible that we can write our own method and call it. For example, let us say I want you to write a function, you know, which can print even numbers. Okay, it's very easy to do. For example, let's write that function. Okay, as we discussed, a function will have attributes which are optional. We will talk about attributes in a later session. Access modifiers, we will talk about access modifiers as well in a later session. But for now, let's use the public access modifier. Now, when we say the access modifier is public, then that means that method can be called from anywhere. Okay, there are other types of access modifiers like private, protected, internal, protected, internal, etc., which we will be talking about in a very great detail in a later session. Now, you can specify the return type of your method after the access modifier. If you don't want your function to return anything, then you can specify the return type as void. Void meaning the method does not return anything back. And then the name of your function. Since we are calculating even numbers here, you know, maybe we will call this even numbers function. And I don't want to pass any parameters to this function, so open and close parenthesis. And then this is the body of the function, opening brace and closing brace. Now let's say I want to print even numbers from 0 to 20 using this function. So how do I do that? So we will declare a variable, int start is equal to 0. And while start is less than or equal to 20. Console dot write line start and then we need to increment start by 2. So if you look at this function, this is a pretty simple function, you know, which will print even numbers. Okay. Now we define the logic of calculating even numbers once, and then we can call this function anywhere we want it. Okay. Let's say, for example, I want to call this function in my main method. How do I do that? Okay. I need to create an instance of. If you look at this function, this function and this main function, there is a slight difference. Okay, uh, one difference is this main method does not have an access modifier. We will have an access modifier. Okay, now another difference is this method, the even numbers method, does not have a static keyword in its declaration, whereas the main method has a static keyword. Now, this is one of the differences between static methods and see, this method is called an instance method, whereas this method is called as a static method. Okay, now if I have to invoke this method, which means if I have to call this method, okay, I have to use an instance of this class. 
this method even numbers is present in program class and since we don't have a static modifier in the signature of this class you know this method is called as an instance method if you have a static keyword then that method is called as a static method okay so if you have to invoke an instance method then you have to create an instance of that class when I say an instance, it's nothing but an object of the class. In C Sharp, the way we create an object of the class is using the new keyword. So this method is present in this class, and this is an instance method. And to invoke that, we first have to create an instance of this program class. So program, let's say p equals new program. So p is an object of program class. And now if I have to invoke my even numbers class p dot even numbers. So that's one of the difference between a static method and an instance method. If you have to invoke an instance method, you create an instance of that class, and on the instance of that class, you invoke this method using the dot operator. Okay, if I go ahead and run this, obviously it will print even numbers from 1 till 20. Now, if I have to make this method, you know, this is like an instance method. Let's make this static. So in order to make this static, how do we do that? Just include the static keyword, public static void even numbers. So now this method is a static method. And look at this. The moment I type the static keyword here, and when this method has become the static method, we get a compilation error. Okay, even numbers cannot be even program dot even numbers cannot be accessed with an instance reference. Qualify it with a type name instant. Okay, so in which type is this method present? In a type called program. Okay, so if your method is a static method, then to invoke that method, you cannot do that on an instance of the class. Instead, you use the name of the class classes you know so in this case it's program so since this is a static method program dot even numbers so we call it on the name of the class so now again the output would be the same except that we made this method a static method now if you look at this method we have the access modifier we have the static modifier and the written type and the name of the method and we don't have any parameters. Since we don't have any parameters, anywhere we call this method, it can only print even numbers until 20. Let's say we want to give the flexibility for the users to determine until what number they want to print even numbers. You know, that flexibility you can provide by passing in parameters. Let's say, for example, I want to print even numbers till 30. Then if I pass 30 to this method, it should be able to print until 30. And maybe in another program, in another application, I want to print even numbers till 50, then I pass in 50 instead of 30. But the logic remains the same, except that we want to enable the capability of passing in parameters so it calculates and returns even numbers back. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how to pass parameters. So to this method, I want to pass, maybe we will call this target until which target number okay so instead of hard coding okay I want to print numbers till 20 I want till the target so that's it now we have passed this 30 for this one for this target variable parameter so it's going to print numbers until 30 and if later in my program I want to print till 50 I can just call that method and pass 50 Okay, now if you look at this parameter if method, it's not returning anything, it's just printing those uh, values there. Let's say, for example, I want to write another method, maybe an add method, public, and the return type of the method in this case is int, and I'm going to call this add int first number, comma, int second number. So what should this method do? This, sh this method should add those two numbers and return their sum. So return first number plus second number. 
So if you look at this method, this method is actually taking in two parameters, adding them together, and then returning the sum back to the calling program, to the calling method. So here, the return type of the method is integer. Here, the return type of the method is void. Now, since I don't have a static keyword in this method, this is an instance method. And to invoke this add method, you cannot do it on the name of the class. You have to create an instance of the class program p equals new program p dot add. Now, if you look at the IntelliSense, you know, the return type of this add method is integer. Okay, if you give it 10, 20, it's going to add those two numbers, 10 plus 20, 30, and then give back 30 to you. So 10, 20. So what's coming back? An integer is coming back. So I can create a variable and hold the result in this variable. So whatever this method returns, I'm storing that in this variable. And what else can you do? Whatever. If you want to print that, you can print. If you want to save it to the database, you can do so. So console.write line sum is equal to sum. That's it. So this program prints even numbers till 30 and adds 10 plus 20 and prints that sum, which is 30. Okay. So we have seen the signature, you know, the basic signature of a method which consists of attributes, access modifiers, written type. Written type can be void and a method name, any valid method name and parameters, which are again optional and then method body. And we also have seen, you know, the difference between static and instance method. When a method declaration includes a static modifier, then we, that method is said to be a static method. Otherwise, it's called an instance method. If you want to invoke the static method, you do that on the name of the class. Whereas if you have to invoke an instance method, you have to do that on an instance of the class. Now, what's the basic difference? Actually, there is a reason why you make certain methods and certain fields and certain uh, properties static and certain uh, instance okay there is a reason behind that we will be talking about those in a very great detail in a later session for now just understand these two differences between static and instance methods a method is said to be static if it contains static keyword in its declaration otherwise it's an instance method to invoke a static method we have to do that on the name of the class whereas an instance method on the instance of the class it's a compile time error to invoke an instance method on the name of the class and vice versa okay and later we will actually talk about why we make certain methods as static and certain methods as instance methods. We will see the logical reasoning behind that in a later session when we talk about classes. For additional resources, you can visit these websites. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.